Alright everybody, Chris with a quick update. Um, I had to move. I moved across town, so into a new house, which is pretty cool. Um, got a basement big enough to do some drifting in, so we're going to get some basement drifting in this winter. Get some videos up on here. But the thing that I like about the new house is I got a big backyard. And what would go better with a big backyard but a new truck? Fortunately, it's not as new as it was about a week ago. It's already scuffed up, took it down to the local track, and just ran it ragged. And it did perfect. Didn't break nothing. It's still running on all the stock parts. Um, like I said, I got a big backyard now, so I'm going to be doing some off road in the backyard. And just so happens I'm building the track back there, so. We'll get to we'll get to see some track bashing with this in one of my own homemade tracks. Um, got in the box, top qualifier, 2.4 gigahertz. Feels a little bit better than the standard Traxxas radio. It's got a little bit more stiffness to it and a little bit softer grip. Don't know if you guys can see that. Grip's a little softer, so it's not. You're not gripping it real hard. Not as much spring back as the regular top qualifier had. And the nice thing with this is it's the Traxxas link, so I could run up to 20 models. Or 10 models, I can't remember exactly what it was. But here's what I like. Let's see if I can do this without flinging the battery door across the room. Like that. <laughs> Four double A's, just like my Spectrum, just like my radio for my Exceed RC. But what I like about this is it's got a little compartment here that I can stuff all my information on how to set my model up. So I kind of like that. It's my little hideaway. But let's get to the truck. Um, first modification, I had the rubber retaining clips on here and about they lasted about 10 minutes at my local track so just took a piece of fishing line and a wa washer inside tied some fishing line to it and tied it to a set of low C body pins to come on and off but this is what you guys are probably wondering yes the Traxxas 380 Valenion system Completely stock, out of the box. Haven't gotten any upgrades for it, but I've got some stuff that'll be ordered here within the next couple weeks. And you guys will get to see me put them in. Um, tightened up the suspension from the factory setting just a little bit. It, oh, yeah, there's a mod already. <laughs> Not really a mod, just a gut to dress it up. But put some 30 weight oil in it. Took the stock shock oil out because it was a little, a little on the thin side, and put some 30 weight in there. Seems to work a little better. But what I like is it, it's two two trucks in one. I'll have an off-road basher and a rock crawler. If I had the suspension set up just right, I'll be able to scale some rocks. Yeah, it's an off-road truck. It's a monster truck. And why would you rock crawl with a monster truck? Well, why not? But, yep. It's it's going to be my new new little toy. No, I'm not getting rid of the cup racer. It's just starting to get towards the end of the year where I can't run it outside. But like I said, big basement. Basement drift in. <laughs> but, uh, yep. This little thing, they claim 30 miles an hour out of the box. And to be honest with you, a lot of companies that say that just want you, just want you to say, okay, I'll buy this because, yeah, it'll do 30 out of the box. Well, to be honest, it does 30 out of the box. <laughs> um, it's a pretty good, pretty good little truck. Flip it over so you guys can get a belly shot. As you can tell, it's it's been abused a little bit. But as with every off-road truck, it's got to have its scuffs and a standard ser standard waterproof servo. This truck is, let's say, kind of waterproof. 
it's not a hundred percent waterproof but DSC is waterproof and the receiver box is waterproof but that little guy they can say as much as they want about waterproof that little guy is not gonna be waterproof <laughs> everything has got to have some holes to be able to get water in just took a piece of black tape put it back here to cover up the bearing but it's gonna be a nice little truck I'll get some video of the track before I run on it and then after I run on it but here's the little mod that I did just took some fishing line tied it around the washer and of course instead of the wouldn't back off a super glue it and just tied a knot around the body clip super glued it to seal it but this is what gets me standard six cell nickel metal hydrate 7.2 volt battery that I use in my cup racer and my exceed everybody's seen it how about that <laughs> that is tiny but yet powerful 7.2 volt 1200 milliamp hour um, I get usually with the week that I've owned the truck about 15 minutes of runtime, 10 15 minutes of runtime, depending on how hard I push it. But you know, it's not too bad for how small of a mob battery it is. Of course, it's got the Traxxas high current connector, which is nice. Um, sorry about that. Guess I'm not prepared. Made a Tracks it, Dean's to tracks this plug for my charger. Of course, you guys know what charger I'm running the Duratrax Onyx 220. I love that charger. Um, other than that, you know, I really should do a review on it, but I don't feel like it. Just I'll just get you guys some running video and comment on it later, but. Really, the only thing I don't like about this truck, and it's, I'm pretty sure everybody's going to say it too, is this battery door. It's just that doubled over plastic that's supposed to act as a hinge. And I can see that ripping if you're not careful with it. I've had troubles with it on glove boxes and cars, you know, the center console. They usually do that, and it's already got a scuff right there, so... We'll see how long they last, and if they don't last long enough, I'll put the NTG aluminum ones on. But, like I said, I got some got some stuff coming for this. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this somewhat of a re review on it. It's not really a review, but I'll get some more video, and I'll put it in this so it's just one video. Um, do some off-roading in the backyard, and then we'll go from there, but... Alright guys, <laughs> there's another thing that's kind of funny, the controller is almost as big as the, as the car, well the car is almost, the car is as small as the controller I should say, but this thing comes ready to run out of the box, I don't have the charger with me because it's in the box and the box is downstairs, but it comes with a regular wall charger to charge this takes six to eight hours to charge on that charger it takes um, I think it's like 62 minutes and like 14 seconds to charge on my onyx um, charging at one amp it says you can charge it at 1.2 I charged it at 1.6 amps took quite a long time so I decided to start charging at one amp to knock the knock the charge time down, but it's gonna slowly depreciate the battery, the life expectancy of the battery. But it did cartwheels on the local track, it got trampled by all the big cars. And you know what? Good old Traxxas it fights back. <laughs>